Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Geeky Script. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of Node.js on a Windows operating system. And after that, I am also going to show you how to use Node.js for JavaScript programming. So do watch the video till the end, I can guarantee if you watch the video till the end, you will be learning a lot of new things and if you are still facing any issues in middle, you can always ask me on comment sections and I am also on Instagram now, so you can also follow me over there, you can ask all of your doubts over there as well, I am definitely going to help you. So now to install Node.js, you have to simply go to favorite browser and to search over here, Node.js download, hit enter. So that will show you this nodejs.org. So just simply click on the first link and it's going to redirect to the official site of Node.js. So this link I'm going to provide on our description. So you can directly use that link to land over here. Once when you are here, you will get this download Node.js option over here. And at the time I'm making of this video, the latest version of Node.js is version 22.13.0, and that is LTS version. You can always download the current edition, but I, I don't recommend that. I always, you know, recommend to download the LTS version because that will going to provide long-term support. All right. So later on, if you if you want to install React or Angular, so all these different front-end frameworks, if you want to install, so in that case, you will need LTS version. All right. So always download LTS version. So I am going to select the latest one at the time I am making of this video and I am going to click on this windows installer and immediately it is going to start downloading our node.js you can see it has actually started doing that and it has actually downloaded. Just simply click on this installer to install it. So welcome to node.js setup, let us minimize our browser and here just simply click on next. So these are all license agreement, you must read this, accept it, next. And this is where our Node.js is going to be installed. Everything is fine. Click on next. So again, you need to keep it default over here. Click on next. So here it is asking whether you'd like to install chocolatey. I don't want. Um, just simply click on next. And it's ready to be installed. Click on install. So it will ask you for administrative privileges. Click on yes. And you can see that our installation is rightly began. So you know, let's wait for a couple of minutes over here. And you can see that it is rightly installed. So simply click on finish. So now that you know that our Node.js data is rightly installed, let's verify it. Just go to search and type cmd to open your command prompt. And within command prompt, if you just simply type node space dash v, hit enter, you will get this type of prompt. So if you are getting this type of prompt, that is it is showing that version, version 22.13.0. So exact that same version what we have installed so 22 13.0 so if you are getting this type of prompt then all that basically mean is your node.js is directly installed on your system and you are good to start your javascript programming so let's start doing that so we'll start uh, doing that by just creating a new file so just first i'll going to create a new folder and i'll give the folder name as javascript i'll go inside that folder I'll create a new text document and I'm going to give this text document as hello world and I'm going to change this .txt extension with .js hit enter so that will show you uh, whether you like to change the file name extension yes indeed we want so click on yes the file name is rightly changed but uh, there might be cases when you, you won't be able to see this type of extensions right so that is because you need to enable that. So go to view and click on show and you need to check these file name extensions. All right. So you need to enable these file name extensions. Once you enable that, you will you, get a tick, tick mark icon over here. So once you enable that file name extensions, you will get this type of extension after your file name. So .js or .txt or for Python, it will be .py. So that type of extensions you will get. So it's, that's why uh, I recommend you to, you know, enable this file name extensions. Once you've done that, let's open this file in a notepad. So open with, or uh, let's just simply open it in a notepad and uh, write a simple console log. So console dot log and let's, you know, console log something. So let's write something called hello world maybe 
and uh, just add a space yeah let's go to file and save this file and now if you uh, click on this address bar and type cmd to open your command prompt right at this location so within this desktop javascript folder our command prompt is slightly open and in order to uh, run this program on console just you know to type node and then it will provide name of your file which is hello world.js just simply type that hello world.js and hit enter and there you go immediately you will get the output on your console so whatever you have written so that output will be coming so let's say you are changing anything like let's say from hello world to let's say you are putting hello everyone and uh, you are just saving this file and uh, let's uh, come back to your command prompt and if you just again rerun that same command that you have written so node the name of your file which is hello world.js so which is this one just simply hit enter and immediately you can see a different output right so whatever you have written actually on your code so that same thing will be coming on your console all right so yeah so that's how you install latest version of node.js and you start working on javascript projects on console i have also made a video on how to use javascript in visual studio code so there extensively i have talked about javascript servers so I, not only just console right you can use your browser to run your javascripts as well so on that video extensively i have talked about how to use javascript on visual studio code so i have talked about different plugins called it's called javascript es6 code snippets then this javascript and typescript nightly so all these things i have already talked about on that video so i highly recommend you to watch that video as well i'm sure if you are if you want to learn more about javascript on visual studio code or how to run javascript program on browser so those videos are going to be really helpful for you guys so don't forget to explore our channel and learn more about my other videos and uh, also if you want you can also subscribe our geeky syntax channel and you can also have a look on my wordpress tutorials on our channel as well all right and lastly special thanks to the supporters of our channel we are truly grateful to you guys supports like this really motivate us to create and improving these videos again thanks a lot for being an essential part of our journey so that's basically all about this video friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all